Ah, <laughs> uh, Hajime, over here. Mikan, Ibuki, Hyoko are all here. Ooh, ooh. The names of the staff role for the Twilight Syndrome murder case were... Setsumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyoda, Sato, Kuzuri. <laughs> yeah. He really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Oh, man. So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. That's probably because his sister died. And I guarantee you, the uh, thing inside that envelope is the pictures that were taken of like that vase. Or like whatever was used to kill her. And probably pictures of her dead body. I guarantee you that's what was in there. And he took revenge on her. Eh, simple as that. <coughs> it's okay to be absent. I thought you said we'd get executed if we didn't come. Executed? Not, not I mean, you said Monokuma had something important to tell us, right? We came because you told us that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a lie. <coughs> a lie? <coughs> You tricked us. What the heck? Fine, then I'm leaving. Can you wait until we finish our business with you? Right, Hajime? This is like I'm on the same team as Nagito. No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to go get information from them. Start with the little kid. It's not fair. I can't believe you actually tricked us so we'd come to this place. I have nothing to say to impu impudent regular people like you. Regular, huh? She's right that I might be a regular guy, but I also have an ultimate talent with her. At least I should have one. Okay, that's fucking helpful. Hey, Pookie, can I ask you something? Bring it on. If you play Twilight Syndrome murder case, well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically off with this. Hey, Pookie's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity, except electronic electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but that's not the time to d really dwell on something like that. For unique tone and hyper energy, there was a character like that in the game too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Hamakura? Huh, you mean that in a perverted way? No, in a normal way. Um... Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mahira was... Mm, mm. Oh. oh, when I asked Mahira this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this really dis disappointing face. A disappointing face. <laughs> yeah, but disappointment varies depending on the person. Ibuki associates it with the department store rooftops. Let's stay focused on Mahiro. <laughs> Turns out Mahiro had some business too, and she wanted to uh, wanted to invite me to that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you really have plans. Um, do you know what she meant by everyone? Ah. Nope, I didn't ask. Let me see. Mahiro invited Ibuki, why? I don't remember which one uh, was really energetic or whatever. That might have been one of them that didn't die. I don't remember. Fuck. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, Mikan? So... No, since we said we weren't going to play that game. Also, I'm not really good at video games. I'm pretty slow and I panic instantly. Her timid tone. I'm pretty sure the girl A character was like that too. Yeah, I was thinking she was gonna be girl A. Anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with Mahiru? Relationship with Mahiru? I first met her um, when we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. After arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, but... How could it be? Did Mahiru hate me? That's definitely it. She hated me. She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she, ha even though she hated me... For her to actually invite me. She must have been a really kind person. Invite? Well, my hero invited me this morning. This morning? She looked very serious and she was wondering if we could all meet up so we could discuss something. But I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lon lonely face and said that she'll reschedule for another day. But if, on if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. Oh my god. My hero invited me, why? No, no, no. Let's see, looks like we've obtained some val pretty valuable testimonies based on that. It seems like my hero also beat that game. Why, why do you know that? No, 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 no. If she hadn't, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Because she beat the game, she talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like what we're doing right now. No, no. But in her case, it was much more serious, probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. 
I'm surprised. I never thought my hero would play that game. It's true. That wasn't unexpected. I don't doubt it. Well, it's not that I don't doubt it. I, uh, that's to be expected. I'm surprised more people didn't do it. Nagido, didn't you tempt her into playing that game? Well, he did. That's true. Huh? Huh? What? I remember. Yeah. Exactly. He told her to go play it. Wait, you tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. <laughs> That's a rude thing to say. That's disrespe disrespectful towards my hero. There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. At that time, she was already considering giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. That's all it was. But more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being quiet as ever. I'm counting on you, Hyoko. Uh, I'm counting on you, Hyoko. If Mario spoke to everyone who appeared in the game, she w should have talked to you too, right? Well, Hyoko? She never talked to me at all. Oh, that's a fucking lie. Now she's really suspicious. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. So I'm just gonna go back to my cottage now. Hey, Hyoko. Ignoring my voice, Hyoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. <laughs> Looks like it's okay to say she ran away. She, yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided. Sorted. Regardless, it looks like we've finished here, so why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Bye. I'll see you later. Hey. the heck is this problem? Even as exit was pushy. Shiaki, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime, but let's go over to my hero's cottage first. My hero's cottage? If she beat that game, it's best if we investigate there, I think. Hora. She might have that. Oh, the ending price. No, that was Fuyuhiko. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Mm. Uh, that's your cue to say yes. Thanks, Chiaki. Very helpful. I'm gonna see if I can talk to Fuyuhiko real quick. Fuhiko should be inside. He's not coming out, huh? I can't help but thinking about Fuyuhiko too, but I think it's better if we investigate Mahiro's cottage for now. Yeah, you're right. You never fucking know, man. Oh, uh, fucking which one? Uh, oh, all the way at the end. Damn. The door looks unlocked. Moving after you've told would be two or third rate, so I made sure to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no-no. There are others who want to investigate, too. I guess I should go inside. Whatever. Oh, there's a Monokuma here, thank god. Compared to my room, the cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting through the, throughout the room. That proves Mahiro was here, but she's not coming back. Then I should... Oh, there is an ending prize here. Try looking for a naughty book. What? Why? Mm. Now, now, I was only kidding. Kidding? Are you that kind of person? Jeez, well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? Hora. But it looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out what that thing on top of the bed. On top of the bed? Yeah, but Monica's the first. Thank you. Need more of those. Envelope. Or envelope. There's an envelope on top of the bed. Could it be? This might be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat the game. What's inside the envelope? Let's find out. I turned over the envelope and what came falling out was a few photos. Huh? Yep, that's what I called it. Oh, this photo. Confirms it. This is photo of Mikan, Ibuki, and Hyoko in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It's just like that game. There was a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight, Twilight's True Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because Girl A was late, and Girl D tried to cheer her up by taking her, by taking her picture. So this is the photo she took. Entrance hall photo. Look at this photo too. 
There's the broken vase. Mm. Is that the same photo girl D showed girl E on the third day? As I recall, broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. Broken vase photo. But this photo is more shocking. As Chiaki showed the Chiaki showed the photo to me, I was stunned in silence. This is an actual photo of a dead body. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like it's the music room. If that's the case, yeah, it looks like uh, who's for you? Uh, Fuyuhiko's uh, sister. Could this be the photo of the first victim? As in, she has the same hair color, and her cheeks uh, look the same. You mean it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day? Yeah, the one they blamed on a pervert. Uh, high school girl's crime scene photo has been added. One more, this is the last photo. Uh, it's probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. I mean, it nearly matches her body in the game. There's no mistake, this is a photo of girl E. Who is girl E, though? Because we know who D is, we know who C is, because that's probably a boogie. B is Yoko, A is. What's her face? Ah, oh, Nikon. With that, we finished looking at all the photos. And D is, uh, Mahira. So, based on all these photos, yeah, it seems pretty clear this is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for beating Twilight, and that's and what's depicted in these photos proves that Sil Twilight Syndrome murder case is based on an actual murder. Does that mean that stuff about our memories being stolen? What is it? What's this? There's something else? What up? There's a note inside the envelope. Try playing Twilight Syndrome after you get a game over. Press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. We'll talk then. I was right. I was right, called it. Fuhiko was the first one, but he gave it to her. Because he probably figured she'd be the most likely to actually do it. Good. Yep, alright, got that. This note. The first person to beat the game and receive the ending prize wasn't my hero. Someone else sent this to my hero. And that person was one who actually received the ending prize. My hero wasn't lured there by Nagito. She also received this envelope. Hmm. And that's why she played that game, right? Then the person who played the game first. This envelope looks very, very familiar. And the word sister written in this note. Based on those clues, I can't think of anyone other than him. Ending prize. No, no. Yep, I'm glad we came here to investigate because we did that. We discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mahiro, but there's not much time left. I need to hurry. What do you think? Must find Fuyuhiko. Oh, God damn it. Hajime, Jackie, what a coincidence. If something happens twice, third time's the charm, they say. What a coincidence? Are you, you are you a stalker or something? <laughs> I didn't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my investigation. Results, did you find something? Still so still. I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes. Fuck off. Huh? <laughs> just kidding, I was joking. Sound like a joke to me. What about the footprints? The killer left their footprints in front of the beach house, right? Did did you find out whose foot footprints they are? <laughs> if you want to know? I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you? Of course he'll come with me, right? I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, but if I can if I can get a clue. What are you gonna do, Chiaki? I'm gonna try to talk to Fuyuhiko and see if I can. Uh, if he can tell me anything. So I'll leave this to you. <laughs> That's definitely a good idea. If someone like me tried to talk to him, it would be impossible, but it might be different with a girl. Just be careful he doesn't get rough with him. Hmm. I guess there is a, a, I guess this is where we part. See you later, Hunter. Uh, huh, did you actually want her to stay? Actually? What do you mean? Sorry. Let's go. I'll go on ahead to the beach house and wait there. What the fuck do you mean by actually want her to stay? Uh, let's try going inside. Ah! Nakito. Whoa! Whoa, why the hell are you here? Yeah. Well, hello there, Ka Kazuichi. Thanks for going easy on me earlier. 
Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think I'm like an ultimate. What this bastard. Ano? You two have arrived at a good time. <laughs> Big news, I've discovered something very terrible. A terrible discovery? Ano? How do I that? I believe it's not it's nothing like Sonia's, but there's something I noticed too. You two make on <laughs> this great, it looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. Okay, Sonia first. Listen, I have I have big news. Huge, huge news. What's the big news? Remember the Sunwich Esper Ido mask that was next to my hero's body? Oh, that mask the killer used to hide their face. No, that is not correct. That mask was not just used to hide their face. And what was it for? Sparkling Justice. Huh? Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and self-professed ally of justice whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, there are several ki serial killer who only murders other criminals. Okay. Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. Oi. The sparkling Justice character. That's the that's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? It's true that the mask was found found as a hero mask. Uh -huh. Is a heroin mask to be precise? Sun Witch Esper Ito is a pretty witch girl. See, a heroine. Onikaku. Anyway, so you're saying it's impo it's possible that the serial killer is the one who killed Mahiro. Hmm. Which means there's a serial killer hi hiding among us? <laughs> Pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some video games. This is stupid. Serial killer my ass. The killer just used it to cover their face. <laughs> but even so, they sure you chose something that stands out. It might be true, but... <laughs> although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonia, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? <laughs> Oh my god. The hell? Jesus fucking Christ, girl. Oh What the heck was that? That's sparkling justice catchphrase. No serial killer has a catchphrase? I read in a magazine in the library. There has only, a, only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. However, in the end, that journalist was punished by Sparkling Justice, too. No good can come from getting involved with the serial killer. The serial killer might not want to hear that from you. This is all about no, all I know about Sparkling Justice. Thanks to the mask, nobody knows their true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that kind of a stretch to say that there's a serial killer hiding among in our group? No, it does not mean they are in our group. It's possible that the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder mine. <laughs> yeah. That's probably not possible. But this, that is the only thing I can think of. I mean... No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. <laughs> that one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Sonia. I, I do. I do understand Sonia's feelings, but... That's where you give her a hug and say, Don't worry. We'll find out who did it. It's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. Tell her I don't want to believe it either. Come on, Audrey. Do it. God damn it. Come on. Come on. Mikan, you had something to say or do, right? Well, compared to the others, what I have to say isn't that important. So please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I get it. So just get on with it. I tried my best to perform the autopsy and I was able to find out. My hero was definitely killed by a blow to the head. No shit. She's probably struck from behind by one blow. Based on the scar, the weapon is clearly the metal bat. But every dark cloud is a silver lining, as they say, um, it looks like my hero didn't suffer. What does that mean? <laughs> that they drug her body to the, uh, door. There's no doubt that she died instantly. Her death was instant? That sounds a little strange. I think it'd be better. I'd better remember that. She wasn't drugged to that door. They drug her to the door to slow, like, to slow down people getting in there? I don't know. 
And there's another thing I found. I'm sorry I started talking on my own. Were you busy right now? Just tell me. During the autopsy, I discovered this in Mahiro's pocket. It seemed there's someone... I was gonna tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's not see, try to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started it suspecting us for no reason. Yoko. But what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come back to the beach house on the second island at 2.30. Seems there's someone who wants to interfere. Let's keep it a secret until then. It would be bad if they... Okay. This letter. If this letter is real, it would mean Hyoka met up with Mahiro, right? Plus, Mahiro's estimated time of death was around 3 p.m., and they met 30 minutes prior. If we think about that, what that implies, then... Oh, I'm starting to get confused. If that's true, what does it mean? What happened between Mahiro and Hyoko? Definitely suspicious. Oh, uh, what do you want, Mahiro? Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find out those who's those footprints those were? Actually, how were you able to find this out? After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say a snow. <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Everyone's cottages? <laughs> I told Monokuma I need access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. God, I'm gonna start saying that. Monokuma, I need to investigate this cabin for the trial. That bastard, he did something shady again. <laughs> Why did I do... Why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. Nagido squatted down at the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. Come on, Hajime, take a look. After all, I went to the trouble of gathering all of these. Those footprints. I see, so the reason you snuck inside every everyone's cottage was... That's right, I wanted to get a sample of everyone's footprints. But unfortunately, Fuyuhiko wouldn't let, leave his cabin or cottage, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that the footprints belong to this person. Whose footprints are they? <laughs> Yoko's I own Yoko's. Oh, no, man. To, honest, to be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. So she shut herself inside her cottage. Remember? If she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. <laughs> so I figured if I lured her out, she wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. So you're treating her like a small animal. <laughs> it's totally worth it. The footprints I collected there were smaller than everyone else's and matched the footprints at the beach house. If there's no mistake, these are Hyoko's footprints. Interesting. Also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting at her cottage. Something interesting? I found a lot of these candies inside her room. Mm. Gummy candies that come in four different flavors strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. Looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently, she really likes this brand of gummies. There should have been other gummy brands, but she only brought home a bunch of these. <laughs> people are like that sometimes. There are people who only eat the same brand if it's just potato chips. What's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I think I should. thought I should tell you, just in case. Just in case, coming from this guy, that means it probably re greatly relates to the answer. Gummy bag. Oh, goody. Class trial time. さあ。学級裁判がついにその幕を開けるぞ。というわけで、モノクマロックの前に集合だ。そこに隠された秘密の入り口からエレベーターで地下へとお進みください。ぷぷぷぷ。じゃあまた後でね。See you soon, Monokuma. I love you, little bear. Can I fucking take one home with me? Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and the killer's hope will finally clash. <laughs> it's alright. Either way, hope will win in the end. Yes. Now then, let's go prove it. Ah! What's he so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that anyway. We should just start heading over. At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting, I have, I have to make my case there. There's no escape if we have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let's go. 
As we talked among ourselves, we left the beach house in Mahiro's body. Monokuma Rock. Open up. Let me go, help me. He's gonna do something crazy to me, I'll be ruined. Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little Lolita. Hey, stop harassing little girls. This is, what's going on? Let me guess, she wasn't gonna leave her room. Thank you. Yoko was trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her here by force. Yoko's, uh, Hyoko's still trying to run away, so Monokuma's trying to wrap her up in a full Nelson. Hey, if you don't stay put, I'm gonna make you part of this island's food chain. <laughs> He's making me waste my sweet ass time. But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. Where the heck is Fuyiko? Guy, he totally ditched. He totally ditched my appointment. This is me off. Okay, stop, please. What the fuck? This anger cha changed its form. <laughs> right here. Oh my god. Holy shit. Huh? Oh, Fuyuhiko came. I was worried about you. <laughs> There's nowhere for me to run anyway, so no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still. I'm a Yakuza. Accepting defeat is not an option. Fuyuhiko, what does that mean? <laughs> well, it's all good if the trial heats up. It's all good. I hope he keeps that form for the rest of this fucking area. Like, for the rest of this game, I hope he keeps that form. <laughs> anyway, looks like everyone's here, so let's, uh, let's just part now. <laughs> I'll go first and be one step ahead of you guys. I'm not mentally prepared yet. You even have to prepare? You don't have enough power. Harness your latent energy. Come on, bring up that energy. The beginning of the end. <laughs> now then, let's keep our spirits high so we can one day find that shining hope. That's right, I can only... Moving forward is the only option. Monokuma. Bring out your rawr. Your fucking escalator of justice. No matter how many times I see it, it's such a bad taste. The worst, the lamest, most brutal taste. Somehow I moved my muscles, stiff from fear and nerve nerves, and awkwardly walked onto the escalator. For some reason my breathing was short and I was eventually stuck by a, struck by a feeling similar to dizziness. The moan of all of us had all, the mo movement all of us were the moment all of us were inside fuck me I wish I could read Monokuma Rock We Take me down Monokuma the Rumbling sound filled the room and then the surrounding space began to fa uh, fall As it shook with the clatter the elevator we were inside continued to drop throughout the drop I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair as if my heart was a rotting fruit, swelling in the sun before it finally goes squish. I suddenly stopped breathing. And it's already fucking less populated in here. And we're gonna lose another one. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. And after a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. And then it stopped altogether. Hmm, this is a nice one. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm about to defeat the boring routine. So I've decided to start redecorating. How's it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? I like it. It's not like I'd allow you to think otherwise anyway. To go to the trouble of doing something this elaborate, really, what is your true intention? Nothing really. It's essentially, this killing game is just to kill anyway. Kill time? Kill time, sorry. To break away from my purpose, that loan is my pur uh, purpose. A purpose is only going to be a weakness. Those who have purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch. And that's why you guys should forget about such cheap-ass purposes like trying to survive. And enjoy the class trial from the bottom of your hearts. Starting, the class trial starting. Mahiro Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she also she was actually was very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her. Awesome. I love this. These fucking panels. Is Among Us? Like, these panels are the fucking best. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... 
Regardless, we need to find the answer. Doesn't matter if we be if you believe it or not. Because it's not it's the only way. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there is no other way for us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. Let's do it. That skills. Give me more focus. Since I'm a lot fucking better now. Cheat code, yes please. That's insane. I'm so glad I got that from Chiaki. Oh my god. Give me that, because now we'll probably use that. Oh, am I using everything now? Yes, I am. Everything I have, at least. We're good. 